This is a, a lecture by Donald Cargill, <coughs> and it's concerning Joseph, Jehoshaphat and his association with Ahab and the difficulty where to make recourse when staged before the tribunal of God. The uh, text is Second Chronicles 19, uh, the first and second verses, <coughs> which read, And Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? <clears throat> the goodness of God does not always leave man when he steps out of God's way. Indeed, it might do so. And when we depart from God, God might say, now go, good providence, and leave them. But what does this goodness of God? It stays and bides until it brings some folk back again to God. And then when they are returned, the more that the goodness of God has been with them, it makes them the more to mourn when they return again. We have an instance of this in this chapter. We have here a king, a good king, and he has gone out of God's way, and yet God's goodness has not left him, but it stayed even after his sinful accession in association with Ahab. It said he returned in peace to his house, uh, to Jerusalem. Now in this chapter there are several things spoken of him, for this chapter speaks not only of his fall and sets out all his goodness, but it speaks first of his deliverance and then of the rest. First, he came to his house at Jerusalem in peace. Secondly, it speaks of the sharp reproof he meets with from the prophet upon the very entry. Anybody would have thought that they should have gone and met their king with praise and flattery. Nay, but the prophet of God goes to meet him with a sharp rebuke. Sharp rebukes were meetest for him, meeter than any other thing, even the best of them all. But here the Holy Ghost marks the sharp rebuke he got, he got from the prophet. We hear nothing of what return he gave to the prophet, but he took with it. It is a rare thing to see a mean person to take with a reproof from a prophet, but much more to see a king acknowledge and say, Indeed, I am guilty. I say it's a rare thing to see a mean person to take with a reproof. But here a king takes with a rebuke those that stand out against God's reproof, God will give over to reprove them until the day of judgment. And then the libel will be altogether put in their hand and see who will refuse then. But here, he takes a repro reproof sweetly from God. Oh, bless him that he is wearing a reproof upon you and bid him now tell on and say, what more has he now to reprove me of? Oh, the heart of man is so proud that it will not take with conviction and reproof. We say it again, the heart of man is so proud that it will not take with conviction and the reproof of God without humbling grace. But thirdly, the third thing shown of him is this, he takes with his reproof, and that is a token of it, for he goes on to the work of God, notwithstanding of the prophets reproving of him. He goes on, I say, to the work of reformation. We shall say this generally, wherever there is 